Hi there, welcome to your yoga class. We are doing a yin sequence again today and we're going to just spinal mobility sequence. So we will get on with it. We'll start by centering ourselves. So as we always do at the beginning of a yoga practice, sitting with your legs crossed or however is comfortable for you. Okay, all these poses are variable. Okay, so they're suitable for all levels. So let's just start by putting our hands on our knees or you can hold them in here. That's absolutely fine. And we're going to concentrate on our breath and do a little bit of focus breathing. Okay, so let's shut our eyes if you'd like to. You can keep them open. That's absolutely fine. And let breathing in and out through your nose. we're going to do is focus where we're breathing into. When we breathe in, we're filling up from this pelvic region down here, up to our abdomen, out to the sides of our rib cage, out to the back of our rib cage, and right up to our collarbone. Okay, same in the way out, collarbone, front of the rib cage, back and sides, and pelvis. Okay, it's a big area. Let's fill it up. So nice big breath in. And feel that natural pause at the top of your breath and at the bottom of the breath as well. You're not holding your breath. You're not doing anything like that. You're just trying to fill up that abdominal cavity. Feeling nice and still, ready for your yin practice. Yin is slightly different. Um, if you've done uh, it before, then you'll know what it's all about. But yin is all about doing less poses, but for longer, holding passive stretches in order to access the deeper connective tissue in your body. So it's a bit of a change of pace, maybe for you. Feel those sit bones grounding into the mat. Sitting up nice and straight. Ready for your practice? Come into your mat. And at this point as well, you can, if you want to, set your intention for this practice. Why are you here today? Are you here because you want to be more flexible? Are you here because you're feeling quite stressed and you feel this might relax you? Are you here because you wanted to just try it out? So just be clear and honest with yourself about why you're here and then we can revisit at the end and see if that's worked for you. Tune into how your body's feeling as well. Always good to check in with yourself. And settling on your next exhale, just open up your eyes. So, spinal mobility movements of what we're going to do. So first we're going to start off with our butterfly movement. So, this is means you're going to sit with the soles of your feet together. In terms of the size of diamond in here and inside of your legs, it's up to you. Please experiment. You can put your legs out longer to begin with and then start to creep them in if you want. You might have done this lots of times before and it's easy for you. You can also sit on a blanket if you want to. Remember those props if you want to use them. Some people love using props. Some people don't use any. Okay, so that your hips are higher up. In your knees sometimes helps okay and I'm going to set the timer for you so we're gonna hold these for three minutes so you can hold on to these feet if you want and then just gently come over okay and you don't need to keep your back ramrod straight you can bring your head over and just relax. Now, really important to find your edge in a pose. It's the point where you think, yep, that's enough. That's just about enough. So that you are challenging yourself, but you're not in pain, you're not getting pins and needles, in like that. And you shouldn't be thinking, there's no way I can hold this for three minutes. You should be able to think three minutes is achievable. It's always fine to back off. You can be, depends on how low down you are, but you can have a block between your feet as well. And you can be resting your head on the block. It just depends how far down you are. You can also have your blocks underneath your thighs. They are helping, okay? Because that stretch might just be too much for you. Okay, 
okay? Your knees might nearly be on the floor. Everyone is so different, okay? Just finding your, your centre here, just relaxing in. We've got our three principles of yin yoga, which is finding your edge, first of all, finding that point at which it becomes a bit of a challenge. Then accepting the stillness, accepting um, that you're going to be here for however long it may be today. It'll be three minutes on average for each pose. And the third one is time. Committing to do the time. I'm here for that today. So I am timing you all the time. Okay. And feel now, if you feel that you can go deeper as well, please do that. any parts of your body which are tight are you tensing up is the stretch too much and you're kind of clamping on and tensing up just be mindful of that as well feeling how this is opening up your hips this is definitely your target area and your lower back as well should not, not be any painful. If you're feeling any pins and needles, please just back off a bit. Should be never any pain or pins and needles or anything like that, okay? And your hands can be really whatever you want. You can even have a bolster here and lean over it if you want, okay? It is up to you. There's so many variations of this one. And your knees can be up as well. You don't have to have them as flat as they will go. So we're going to start deepening the breath now. Ready to come up into the next pose so gently walk yourself back up sit and we're going to do a half butterfly next so keeping that blanket there if you want to we are going to keep one leg in that position and put the other leg out to the side okay and keeping your leg your foot flexed and we're going to start to come over now you can stay up here but we're going to aim to come over the leg okay that's the direction we're going in anyway. Now remember these props and remember you've got three heights to your block. Top height, middle height, bottom height. Okay? And just, you can reach out if you want to hold on to your foot. You can do. But remember we're here for three minutes. Okay? Set your, your edge. Okay? Remember, nothing should be sore. And remember that breathing as well. Breathing in and out through your nose. That's it. this is opening up your hips and you're getting a nice hamstring stretch in here as well at the same time you can also use your strap for this you can put a strap over your toes just over the ball of your foot and hold on to that as well if you'd like it really is very very variable as long as you're working into the pose as long as you are finding your edge and breathing and there's no pain Keep yourself going. Okay. And breathe. So why are we doing yin yoga? Why are you doing yin yoga is always a good question uh, to ask yourself. What benefits do we get? Well, I mean, it's relaxing. It should be relaxing anyway. It can calm your mind quite a lot if you've got a busy mind because you're kind of, uh, you're not forced to stay here for three minutes, but you're encouraged to stay in the one place for three minutes. So, Speaking personally, that's very, very good for me. I don't think I stay anywhere in one place for three minutes, so it's good for me. Um, and because of your breathing, you are, you know, doing things like lowering your blood pressure, triggering that relaxation response in order to come into the stretch a bit deeper. And at which point, by the way, if you feel that you want to go down a bit further, please do that or hold on to your foot. That's absolutely fine. And we've also got physical benefits as well. Increasing our circulation. Yin yoga works on the deeper connective tissue of your body. Uh, because we're holding these poses for so much longer, um, it works on things like your ligaments and your fascia and releasing any tension um, there that we maybe wouldn't otherwise get the chance to. So we're going to start deepening our breath that's it 
and walk your hands slowly up from where you've been. Take your time, okay? And what we're going to do is do counter pose to this. So what that means is we're going to bring our legs up, hip width apart, hands behind you, and flop them side to side in a controlled manner, of course. And just feel that loosening everything off. Now let's do the other side. Bring that right foot in to the caterpillar pose. It can be out as far as you want. That's absolutely fine. And we're just going to do the same on the other side. Sit. And this side might feel very different indeed. Staying here, finding that edge, getting your breathing sorted. Feeling if there's any tightness. So, can we breathe into it? Can we help release it a little bit? If anything's sore, if it's sore, back off. But can I go deeper in this pose? You know, you might want to hold on to your foot, but remember, you've got to stay here for minutes so again just use your best judgment you're the only person that that can tell whether you are challenging yourself a little bit or not and feel this into your hips of course and up that hamstring how nice it's making you feel feel you're going to be getting the benefit of this aren't you Stretching those muscles, elongating those muscles as we speak. Increasing your circulation. Increasing the lubrication in your joints. Because we're putting a very, very gentle stress on it. I'm going to say st I never like the word stress, but we are stressing every, ever so slightly just to increase that flexibility and range of motion in your joints. So keeping with it committing to it, readjust if you need to at this point, if you think, oh I could maybe do without my blocks, or it might be actually that's better without the blocks you might need to play about a little bit okay, now we're not hunched over but we're not sitting you know, up straight either, we're, we're, we're at comfort in our top half of our body but we are leaning over that leg holding it not to wonder when the time's up it's up when it's up so there's not any point in thinking about it I'm here to time you so you don't need to worry about that at all which is quite nice actually when you're in a class and you don't really need to worry about that sort of thing at all so we're going to start deepening our breath again ready to move on okay so start deepening your breath ready to move because when you're here for three minutes you can get you know in the zone sometimes so you really need to sort of start waking yourself up again pop those props to the side and start walking yourself back up slowly okay hands behind you okay and you're going to drop your knees side to side do those windscreen wipers again and the next pose we're going to do is caterpillar pose so what's caterpillar pose stop my timer So, we're going to come here. Remember that blanket if you want to. Sometimes we can use a blanket all the time if you want. It's a very personal thing. Okay. So, coming up here, sitting, okay. And Caterpillar is just coming forward in a forward fold, really. Okay. Remember those props. I'm just going to start the timer. You can be here. Okay. I'll have your head on here as well. Okay. If you want to, you can invite a slight bend in the knee as well. You can use those blocks at the side too. Okay. So we're feeling this upper hamstrings and inner lower back. Okay. And just accepting to stay here for the time, remember. Finding that edge as well. And again, you can do this with a strap. I'll get you and show you the strap and show you. The... Now, you don't need a strap, remember. We can always improvise at home. 
Okay, you can have this around the balls of your feet and holding it like this. Okay, always an option. You can hold the strap however you want. There's no specific way, but feet together. Just whatever you prefer. Remember, you can bend those knees if you like too. You can also sit. We don't need to come over quite as far. If you're sitting up, that's absolutely fine. There shouldn't be any pain at all. Remembering that breathing. Settling in. And flexing those toes towards the ceiling. You can have nice music on in the background as well if you want to. It's up to you. Checking in with yourself again. Is am I okay? Is it sore? Have I got any bits of tension? Is this helping? Sorts of things. And readjusting as you need to. Coming down. If you've got a strap, shortening the length of it a wee bit. Can you come down? Chest to knees a little bit more. You don't have to. That's it. We're going to start deepening the breath again. Here, and we're going to slowly come back up and we're going to counter pose this one as well. Really important to always do your counter pose. And we're going to do a reverse tabletop. So what that means is you put your hands behind your bottom about hand length away and you're just going to bring your bum up as much as you can. Okay, and you can see how that's a counter for you. Okay, if that's too much. You can just bring your bottom off the ground a little bit, but if you can get up, that's a really, really nice counter pose. Okay. So coming on back down, we're going to go into our next pose, which is seal pose. Okay. What we're concentrating on doing here is trying to flex the spine every way we can. So um, in our butterfly, we were flexing it forward to the sides as well. Excuse me, will I stop my timer? We're flex and then caterpillar was coming forward. So now we're going to Come back the way you you'll know um, from feeling it which what we're trying to do. So we come down on our front for this one, okay, and we put our hands down like this, and we come up to Sphinx pose like that. Try and have your elbows underneath your shoulders like this, okay. Now you will feel this in your lower back, of course you will. It shouldn't be sore though. And again, you can use those props. Let me get a wee block and show you You're here okay and you can have your head up tops of your feet in the floor but you can rest your head if you want to okay remember those okay because you can still get some degree of stretch in there that by ab absolutely but it's just entirely up to you now if that's not enough for you you can come in Our seal pose, which means putting your hands out a wee bit further, okay, and your hands are kind of going out into the side, and they're going straight as well, and you'll feel that on your lower back, a little bit more of a stretch, but you won't hurt yourself, okay? Relaxing into the pose. how your spine's flexing back the way. Feeling nice and relaxed. And then if you find that's too much, you can always come back to your sphinx pose. Finding your edge as you were doing and settling in, okay? I've got an eye on the time, so don't worry. And hopefully after this we'll do a nice counter pose. A 
times for you. So we're going to start deepening that breath again, okay? And we're going to come out of our pose, but what we're going to do is make a pillow with our hands. And rest with your head down. And just take a bit of time. Check in with your body, see how it feels. So coming up slowly, we'll go on to our next pose. So the next pose we're going to come into is Banana Asana, okay? And what this means is we're going to lie on our backs, okay? And we're going to get that sideways curve into the spine this time. Let's lie down, okay? Now what we're going to do is we are going to walk our feet sort of walk them out like this to the left okay so your torso is still straight but your legs are out to the left now this is obviously why it's called banana asana and then you're going to stretch out your hands and do the same thing with them okay so if you were looking at yourself from up above you're looking in the shape of a banana now if you want you can cross that other leg over i will set my timer and we will stay here either side okay so again settle in find that edge feel how lovely that is you don't have to have that top leg over okay so remember you can walk your hand around a little bit more you can walk your legs around a little bit more and we're getting that lovely sideways lateral curve into the spine that's it feeling that lovely stretch up your right hand side if your feet and your hands are to the left Here. just relaxing remembering that breathing see how nice it is to be in a lovely passive stretch it shouldn't be sore you get a lovely full stretch you can mainly feel this in your abdomen but it's all the way down to your toes and all the way up to your fingers a full body side stretch Because we're staying here for longer, we can settle into it, go a little bit deeper. Check in with your body. How does it feel? Does this feel nice? You're always going to have your favourites. Um, I really like this one, actually. It always feels nice to me, um, but everybody is completely different. Very, very relaxing. Staying here, taking your time. We're going to start deepening our breath, and we're going to do it on the other side, of course. So, gently bringing those hands around, gently bringing the feet back. We're going to go to the other side. So, walk your feet out on your heels to the other side. Same with your hands, just walk them out. And remember, you can cross that over, that foot over. Same on the other side. If you were looking at yourself from above, you would resemble a bit of a banana. And are you tighter on this side? You might be. Might be as tight. You're getting that lovely full body stretch and that lateral curvature in the spine. stillness, finding that edge. Do you need to go around a little bit more, do you think? If not, stay where you are. Absolutely fine. It's your practice. I'm just here to guide you a little bit.
bow, keep in the breath, and second or two, don't feel that you can stay here all day, unfortunately we have to move on. <laughs> your breath deep and come back round, that's it, to the centre. We're going to this time, we're going to take our knees into our chest. So bring your knees up, that's it. Now you can hold on behind your knees here, okay, or you can hold on to your knees and feel that spinal curve. Bringing that tailbone up and we're feeling it. As I say, you can be here. That's absolutely fine. Too much. Hold in like that. Do whatever you're comfortable with. Feel the bottom of that spine coming up. Get comfortable. Find that edge. Bring your bottom up a little bit more if you want to. Feel that lovely stretch in the lower back. Low spine is curving round as well. Breathing. Is that how you're feeling on the mat? Are you feeling calm and relaxed? Are you feeling a bit fidgety today? It all depends on a lot of things, the sort of day we've had. Are you doing this in the morning or at night? of things can affect that. What I would say is the more yin that you practice, the more contented and um, stay resigned to the fact. But you do just accept, more accepting of the fact you're here for two or three minutes, however long that at the time may be, and you just settle in. Let's do it, I think. So, we're going to think about deepening the breath again and remember in the middle of a pose if you feel oh, that's too much you know adjust it as you need to you don't have to stay in the pose that you started out with okay so deepen in the breath that's it and now we're going to come into our shavasana so what that means is we're just going to lie out in total relaxation pose and you can if you want pause this and have your own uh longer shavasana if you like this can be anything from a few minutes up to 20 minutes the longer the better hands are out to the side tops of the hands are on the floor and shut your eyes tilt that chin to the chest a little bit elongate the neck and settle in for your final resting pose shavasana feel your body on the mat feel your contact points on the mat and grounded and safe as you feel. Allow your body to take this couple of minutes to restore itself after your practice. Feel the stillness. Allow yourself just to collect your thoughts and be at total rest. Don't get to sleep watching TV, all we are doing is being here. Really naturally. Feeling your fingers, feel the elbow movement in the wrist, feet on the floor, and just take your time to sit up. Sit up slowly. Now you can go onto your side first, okay? So you've been in a back for a little while. You can go onto your side first if you want, and gently push up from there or rest there. 
for a little minute. And come up to our seated position again, just like we started. So let's put our hands up to our heart. Um, and I hope this practice heals and strengthens your body and your mind. Namaste. So I hope you enjoyed your yin yoga spinal mobility sequence. Um, drop me a message if you've got any feedback at all or any questions about what we've done today. That's no problem at all. So, hope you enjoyed that uh, and I hope to see you back again soon. See you later.